What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ubud Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So I, I saw um, the Bro 78 Sports TV video he just did with Eddie Hearn um, offering uh, Tank Davis and talks with Tank Davis to sign Tank Davis or co-promote Tank Davis or and have him on the zone. And also, too, after I watched Eddie um, 78 um, video, I just watched um, the brother Fred from um, Barbershop Conversation video again talking about the contract that was offered to the Charlo brothers. And Fred said they throwing around big money. He said he personally saw the contract. Now, I was there when Eddie Hearn broke the news about the $1 billion deal with the zone. And I got to say this, man. You know, um, I have an issue with this, the way Eddie Hearn handled the situation where um, uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder and, uh, you know, him contradicting himself. But at the end of the day, Eddie, Ho Eddie Hearn is a promoter and he's going to do what promoters do. You know, he's going to do things that, um, that, that, that promoters do. Bob, it's nothing new. Bob Arum. Uh, um, Don King it's, This is nothing new You know what I'm saying This is not unheard of For promoters to contradict itself For promoters to lie Or make up stories Or whatever But as far as this goes I gotta say that Eddie Hearn Is putting pressure On the promoters In the states He's putting a lot of pressure on them Just like when the PBC First came out and they put a lot of pressure on dudes because they were offering the fighters so much money that uh, Al Heyman, I mean, um, that um, Bob Arum and Oscar De La Hoya actually took Al Heyman and PBC to court because they were offering, they felt like they were monopolizing and offering the fighters more money than they deserve. And um, Eddie Hearn, man, is planning on doing the same thing. So he's putting a lot of pressure on these dudes, man. According to Fred, he saw the contract himself that he offered the Charlo twins, the Charlo brothers. And he said he can't disclose how much money it is, but he's definitely throwing around a lot of money. Now we get Tank Davis posting stuff and saying he been offered double the amount that he's making. And then <clears throat> I saw an a, a interview Eddie Hearn did with Seconds Out. And uh, he asked him, was that you that offered that deal? Is that you that um, Gervonta Tank Davis is talking about? And Eddie Hearn said, yeah. And he said that um, Tank Davis is happy. He said, but Mayweather Promotions is not happy. He said, but they in talks. And with Eddie Hearn with this money, you know, Eddie Hearn can be a lot of things, but he's aggressive. He's aggressive as a promoter. He talked all this shit about Wilder, but he, in his same token, he's still trying to sign Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? He took a lot of shit about a lot of people, a lot of fighters, but he's still trying to sign them. That's aggression. You know what I'm saying? He's aggressive with it. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on these promoters, especially Mayweather promotions that seem to have all types of turmoil inside their promotional company. It seems like their fighters are not happy, and you um, and it's like a it's like a wife, man. It, it's like a relationship. If you're in a marriage, you know what I'm saying, whether it be man or woman, you know what I mean. Uh, you you having issues at home? You having all these issues? You going home? You're not having sex? You're not you arguing every day? You got all these issues, and then you go outside, and then there's this beautiful lady or 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 big strapping man or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, either one of the parties, and they offering, you know, they driving around nice cars. You having financial issues. You have a money issue, arguing every day. You ain't having sex. This 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 person, this dude come along or this woman come along, and, and they offering you the world. Now, is the grass always greener on the other side? Nah, but it's, it's tempting. And temptation is a motherfucker. Temptation is a motherfucker. And, and Eddie Hearn... Offering these dudes something that a comfort zone, something that they never had or don't get or don't receive, and you know he promising the world and he doubling the, the money that they 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 normally get. That's temptation. 
And that's a lot of pressure, especially for the Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather. Because Oscar De La Hoya have all these these issues with him, with these sex issues and and drug issues and uh, substance abuse and rehab and not being there. He wasn't there for the May Mayweather versus Canelo fight because he had to go to rehab. One of the biggest fights, well, the biggest fight in his promotional company's history. He wasn't there because he was in rehab. Then you have Floyd Mayweather, who's star of his promotional company, Gavante Tank Davis, are going back and forth via social media. Not to mention, he wasn't even at Tank Davis fight. The biggest fight, the the I don't want to say the biggest fight in his company history, but the 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 star of his company, he wasn't there. So at this point in time, man. You know, Eddie Hearn is putting a lot of pressure on these dudes, man. A lot of pressure. And he, and like 78 said, man, he going to sign some of these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Because he got the money to throw around. He going to throw it around, man. And he going to throw it around. And these dudes going to sign, man. They going to bite. Because the only one that can match his aggression and his smarts at this point in time would be Al Heyman. But Al Heyman is not a promoter. He's a, he's a, he's an advisor. So guess what? At the end of the day, Al Heyman is not going to advise them not to take the big money. He's not going to do that. So, man, these promotional companies better smarten up, man, because Eddie Hearn about to he, he about to put that he putting that pressure on him, man. The pressure busts pipes, man. So they better smarten up because he he making power moves as far as this go. Now I know people come out and saying the deal wasn't. I don't know all the, the details and in in, in in the in the one billion dollar deal and all that the numbers. I know the brother Fanon, shout out to Fanon International. He he be breaking it down. I know there's a couple of people I saw. Um um. Uh 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 um, Richard Schaefer breaking it down about how it's not you know with the 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 um the pros and the cons about it. I don't know all the details in it, so I'm not gonna get into that. But as far as him putting the pressure on and signing these dudes, it, whether Adrian Brown is signed or not, his ear was open. He was listening. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing, like, when I related back to a relationship. You know, um, when, when, when you have, when you're in a relationship and you start to, to listen to other people's options, to other people's offers, that means you're ready to go. And these fighters are listening to the offers that he's get. So that means if if he just up the offer, they'll accept it. They'll accept it. You know what I'm saying? So um, so all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy Blue Blue Bus Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, get all new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Shout out to New Media, man. Shout out to Black Media Row. Y'all already know what it is, man. So Eddie Hearn putting the pressure on these U.S. promoters, man. He ain't playing no goddamn games with this shit, with this situation, man. You know what I'm saying? He just offered Tank Davis double, and Tank Davis admitted it. You know, he confirmed it, and along with Fred from Barbershop Conversation, confirmed that he saw that he said Eddie Hearn throwing around big money, so he ain't playing no damn games, man. Eddie Hearn looking to sign these dudes. He going to get some people on this banner. So that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Eddie Hearn putting the pressure on these U.S. promoters. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.